Hello everyone, Regina here with Refuge One and Herbal Teacup and just wanting to, as promised, tell you the colors of the flag and uh, what those colors represent. As, um, as dancers, as praise and worship dancers, we need to know what we are waving, why we are waving our flags and using our flags as dancers in his presence, in God's presence is a way for us to show our love for our creator. And there are many flags and styles and colors. And we as praise and worship dancers, it's not an act for us. We are praising, we are worshiping God. We are ushering in the Holy Spirit. We are asking God to come in and reign his presence on us and our church and bless our congregations. Whoever is uh, blessed enough to be under the anointing Praise and worship is a big part of any service in the name of Jesus. You can't do anything without the Holy Spirit being present. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is much liberty. So colors and what they represent. Amber. And we're just going to go over these briefly um, too and back it up with scripture so that you'll be able to find uh, these also as, and remember uh, these scriptures that represent these colors as well. Amber, the glory of God, his honor, the flaming throne, Ezekiel 1, 4, and 27. Gold, victory, the victories we have in Christ, wealth, our provisions, God is our provider, kingship, Jesus is the king of kings, Exodus 37, 6, Revelation 1, 12, and 13. Silver, the word of God, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword, the word is pure, like silver, wisdom, strength, Psalm 12 and 6. Aqua, river of God, refreshing rain, the Holy Spirit, Psalm 65, 9 and 10. When we raise this flag, we're asking God to flow through us and our congregation and rain his blessings on us. White, purity, holiness, faith, angels and peace. God said, I am holy. We are to be holy. When Mary Magdalene went into the tomb, she saw two angels in white. Isaiah 1, 18, John 20 and 12. Paralescent white. Cloud of the moving presence of God. The glory cloud in Exodus. The wind of the Holy Spirit. The dove at Jesus's baptism. The gates in heaven are made of 12 pearls revelation 21 21 john 1 32 and 33 iridescent crystal if you are blessed to find this color please let me know i've seen it one time and the material was so heavy there's no way you could make a flag out of it but i'm in search for it meaning the bride of christ the blessings of god and overcoming and boy do we overcome we will be proclaiming that Christ will be looking for his bride in the end. The holy city is bright like crystal. Revelations 21 and 11. Red, the blood of Jesus. Love, consuming fire and redemption. Red represents the power of the blood of Jesus and the atonement he made for us. The all-consuming fire, the consuming all darkness. Leviticus 17, 11, Hebrews 9, 12, and 14. Burgundy, the cup of new wine, surrender, Corinthians 11 and 25. So when you raise this flag, you're surrendering all to Christ. Orange, which is my favorite flag, powerful flag. You wave this flag, know what it means. The fruit of the spirit, harvest, Matthews 9 and 28 fire of God, 1 Kings 18 and 38, warfare, praise. When we raise this color flag, it means that we are ready to battle in the heavenlies. So raise that flag with much honor, men and women of God. Yellow, light, joy, and celebration, Psalm 18 and 15, Isaiah 51 and 11. Green, we're going to be making the green cleansing, healing, life, prospérity, res res restoration, 
God is cleansing his people from impurities and bringing his resurrection life. Psalm 52 and 8, 94 and 14. Navy blue. Heaven, I see a lot of navy blue flags. Heaven, I see a lot of red flags too. But the navy blue, heaven, Holy Spirit, provisions, blessings, the sky, that we will usher in the Holy Spirit, inviting the blessings of God in and upon us. Ezekiel 1 and 26. Light blue, healing and water. John 5 and 7. Purple, royalty, king, majesty, authority, and power. Mark 15, 17, and 18. When this flag is raised, it's proclaiming we have authority in the heavenly places. Exodus 28 and 8. Pink represents the bridegroom the bridegroom's heart and his faithfulness, Psalm 18, 20, 26, and 3. Rainbow, the promises of God, the favor of the Lord, the appearance of the Lord's glory. When this flag is raised, we're proclaiming his promises are yes and amen, Ezekiel 1 and 28. Brown, or man, earth, God called the dry land earth and created man from it, Genesis 1 through uh, one and ten black you never see any black flags uh, in praise and worship well you see them here because you're going to see uh, me make one that's one of my colors as well because yes black does mean uh, evil it sin and affliction but the greater side to that and flipping that coin means the shadow of our lord psalm 17 8 18 11 91 1 lamentations Four and eight, Jeremiah eight and twenty one, and Revelations six and five, shadow of the Lord. So when you raise this flag, you are asking the Lord to shadow us, shadow you, and shadow your congregation. That no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. That a thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand. But no sickness will come and overtake our dwelling. We will not be afraid of the arrows that fly at noonday are the pestilence that try to land on us at night anything we will not be afraid when you raise that black flag that's what you're saying we are not afraid of any afflictions we are not sinful people in jesus name we are blessed going in and blessed coming out and we are asking father to shadow us in Jesus name. So don't be afraid, afraid to wave your black flag now that you know what it means and you have scripture to back it up too. Because when you see black, you automatically think evil and sin and affliction. Remember the shadow of God. Raise your black flag. Do not be afraid to make a black flag and use it in the name of Jesus, but know what it stands for. Know your colors, worship dancers, men and women of God, praise and worship dancers, raise those flags, those banners, those streamers in the name of Jesus for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. I hope that you've learned something. If you don't like something that I said, reach out to me uh, before you give me a thumbs down so that I can gain your thumbs up. Guys, like my page, subscribe, make flags with me, respond. Refuge1.net, reach out to me with tips and recipes and ideas. There's a lot going on uh, on, on our website and, and events and things that God's doing all over this earth. I bring them to you from North Carolina. You can bring them to me from wherever you are. I'd love to hear what you have to say on your tips and you praise and worship dancers and uh, people that are just wanting to uh, do it just as an art. You can praise and worship uh, God at home. If you just like flagging, that's fine too. But let's make them together. And um, Regina Sanford, Regina N. Sanford on Facebook, Refuge1 at windstream.net. I look for your feedback and I will respond uh, to you as well. So until next time, please hit that like button, guys. Let me know you like the videos and that they are helping 
And also, don't be afraid to help because you may be holding on to some information that could bless me and many, many, many others in the name of Jesus. So don't be afraid. Be a blessing. It's nice to be blessed, but it's more important to be a blessing in Jesus' name. So until next time, bye.